Hey guys, this is early 1981 and welcome back to the Golf Club 2. Today we are continuing with the Legend series. This time we are revisiting the US Open 2000 at Pebble Beach. This suggestion came from Mike Barfield. The information Mike has gave me is fantastic. It's so in-depth. So Mike says, can you put Tigers 4 under in the final round at the 2000 US Open at Pebble Beach in the running for the Legend Series? He opens the final round with 9 straight pars, then he birdies 10th, 12th, 13th and 14th to move 4 under. Then pars out to conclude a bogey free round. He finishes the tourney at 12 under. Tiger finished a full 15 strokes ahead of 2nd place finishers Miguel, Angle, Imanez and Ernie Els who were 3 over. Incredible. He also became the first player in the 106 year history of the US Open to ever finish at double ditches under par. His 15 stroke margin of victory remains the largest in a major championship. So let's have a look at the course details guys. The fairways are normal and the greens are soft. There's Tiger in all his glory. Congratulations to the guys who did guess it was Tiger. I do feel it was quite obvious. So we are going to open up with a driver here. <clears throat> Very mild winds. Good opening strike. I would arguably say that 2000 was when Tiger... That should bounce out here easily. Oh no. Oh, well guys, a real misjudgment there for me. I honestly felt I would have jumped out of that. So I am playing out the, the light rough here. Just going to take a bit off of this. See if we can get it up on the green and get it close. The greens are soft, so things should sit down fairly quickly. Oh, wow, this could be great. Oh, look at that for a shot out the rough, guys. That ball dropped stone dead. And that is going to give me a tap in for an opening birdie. So I'm pretty confident of getting to four under, guys, to be fair. The way I'm swinging, I've, I've managed to um, emulate all the legends so far on the golf club too. It certainly wouldn't happen in real life. But I don't think this will ever be beat again, guys. This per particular round here, if the US um, Open, where Tiger won by 15 strokes. Like Mike said, it's still a record. Um, it's the largest victory in a major championship, and I can't ever see it being beat again. Um, I remember it well because Sergio Garcia wore Payne Stewart's trademark Navy Plus 4s in the first round as a mark of respect to Payne Stewart, who um, tragically died eight months previous in a plane crash. Um I used to love Payne Stewart. Um, I really enjoyed watching that, that man play. Great golfer. Really entertaining. He was loved on the tour. And that's another great strike, guys, into this green here. Uh, into the green. It's going to be a bit long, but it is a par 5. But I am striking the ball really well just now, guys. Hence, I am getting some of the, the cheater accusations again. But I can assure all of you subscribers, I am not cheating, guys. I am 100% legitimate. If this video gets 20 likes, what I will plan to do is show you guys how I do swing. If I can come up with a way of doing that. I've left that putt short. This is one's for the birdie. You get to two under for two back-to-back -back birdies. It turns and we do get to two under, so we are halfway there. So, another bit of information from Mike um, Barfield here is that Tiger was 24 years old when he won this. He hit 73.2% of the fairways and 70% of the greens in regulation. And he averaged 27 putts per round in the victory. That year, just some numbers to shoot for you in your round if you choose to take on the challenge. So, Mike, this one's for you, buddy. So, let's sit back. And enjoy this round, guys. It's another good drive. We're coming round. That's going to be bang in the centre of the fairway. 
But yeah, if that is something you would like to see, guys, let's please get this video to 20 likes. Um, just want to say a huge welcome on board to the new subscribers. I think I picked up six or seven yesterday, which was fantastic. Thank you all for that. The channel is slowly growing and going in the right direction. But with these soft greens, I'm confident in getting the majority of shots dialed into these pins. That one's a little bit short, to be fair. Probably going to have about an 8-9 foot putt here. So 12 foot putt, breaking to the left to keep the birdie run going. Oh, fantastic birdie putt there. That is one thing I've really improved my game on, guys, is my uh, putting. My putting used to be an Achilles heel, but I have really improved. But it's great to see uh, Tiger Woods back this year. I'm really looking forward to see what he can do, because for me, he is the greatest golfer of all time. I know people say Jack Nicholas, um, Seve Ballesteros, some people like to mention as well. But for me, Tiger Woods is by far the best golfer in real life. Tiger Woods is not his name, actually. Tiger is just a, a nickname, to my knowledge. His full name is Eldrick Taunt Woods, but his nickname's Tiger. He was born in 1975, December the 30th, in Cypress, California. Obviously, he's had his issues over the last three, four years. The huge publicity about his split and all his affairs and everything like that but um he's won 14 major championships guys it's it's outstanding he's won the masters tournament four times the u.s open three times the open championship three times and the pga championship four times 1996 he won rookie of the year but he is an outstanding golfer, guys. He had an outstanding junior college and amateur career. And he was 20 years old when he turned professional at the end of the summer in 1996. But I do not think we will ever see the likes of Tiger Woods again. Someone that's dominated golf like he did. Like I say, for me, he's above Arnold Palmer and Jack Nicklaus by quite a distance. Those two gentlemen are fantastic golfers in their own right. Along with Sam Snead. Do we ever think that <coughs> uh, Tiger Woods will emulate Jack Nicholas as uh, 18 major wins? I don't know, guys. He's only got four to do it. It's achievable. He's still a relatively young man. But I do guess. He claims he's injury free now, Tiger. All his injury worries are behind him. But really looking forward to see what Tiger is going to achieve this year. He really lights up the world of golf. And I'm really looking forward to the Ryder Cup this year, guys. It'll be interesting to see if Tiger's going to be included. Either as a wild card or a captain. So let's focus more on my round now, guys. Probably just looking to hit the the front of the green here. Probably going to come in hot. Do you feel that's going to be a bit short? Has worked its way onto the green. I just wanted to hit the front part of the green. It is going to give, give me an eagle opportunity here though. I do apologise about the audio on a few of the previous videos, guys. It's The microphone's been rubbing on my stubble, which is now basically almost a beard. I better get shaven. The wife doesn't like it. But, oh, what, what a putt there for an eagle, guys. Wow. Like I said, a few holes back, my putting has really came on. And we are absolutely cutting this course up here, guys. This is phenomenal. I am seven under through six holes. So we've more than passed Tigers 4 under so far. Let's see if we can keep this outstanding run going. I think 
I actually play better when I don't focus, guys, because I am reading out all this stuff as I am playing. I've just been on autopilot here. And it's another great shot. But this is a fairly easy course, guys, due to the soft greens. Everything sits down. I normally play, majority of my rounds are normally firm uh, greens. So it's really helped me improve my, uh, that's a pure birdie putt. It's really helped me improve my distance control. So when you do come down to the soft greens and things do bite, it's a pleasant surprise. It's quite a tricky par putt here, but I do get it on the edge. So the birdie train has ended there, guys. We did go for six consecutive birdies. Well, five consecutive birdies on an eagle. First par of the round. We are on hole eight. This is deemed the toughest hole on the course, guys, with stroke index one. Don't think I can hit driver here. I'll have to club down to the three wood. Five wood will go for an in. Even the three wood looks like it would put me in the drink. It's a good strike again, though. No. So right club selection, guys. I don't think I would have got away with the three wood. So right decision made. Still going to be a long approach shot into the green here. The five iron into the wind. Just looking to get this as close to the pin as possible. Just took a touch off of this, guys, due to the wind. Six iron now. And it is another great strike. This should bounce from the fairway onto the green. Oh, and it's a good shot again. Once again, made the right club choice. Like I said, guys, I am sitting about 15 feet back. My wife says I need glasses. I don't think I do. It's just that the numbers and things are so far away. So we do get another birdie there. Great to birdie the toughest hole on the course. And we now eight under. Let's move on to hole number nine, which is going to be the final hole of this front nine. But I really wanted to play well today, guys, which I'm doing so far. I do feel, like we said earlier, 15, winning a, an event by 15 strokes, guys. Phenomenal. I don't think you'll ever see that done again. Um, I really can't. I, I don't think we'll ever see anyone with the likes of the ability of Tiger Woods again. And I do feel he will go on to match Jack Nicholas's 18 major events, wins. He's only four short. Um, I have watched glimpses of Tiger in the past, over the past few months, and he does look like he's going to come back a major force again. This should bounce. Go on. Probably looking about 15 feet away there. Who would have liked that closer? 13 feet. Just a slight break here. Oh, and once again, it's another putt. It drops right on the edge. Gravity pulled it down. So, nine under through the front nine, guys. Wow. Let the floods of the, the hackers' um, accuse, accusations come back in again, guys. I, I've got broad enough shoulders, but I just want to once again assure everyone I am no cheat. And like I say, if this video reaches 20, if it gets 20 likes, guys, I will um, give an insight into how I've totally changed my swing and how I do swing. Just with a bog standard controller, which is hardwired into the PS4. And it works with any controller, guys, because I've got about four controllers. Um, I actually tried it yesterday. I just bought my two sons, this is another great shot, um, their own PS4, which came with a brand new PS4 analog controller. I plugged it in at my PS4. My technique I've got, which is one-handed, I only hold the controller one-handed. Um, that's all I'm willing to reveal so far. 
um, and perfect, perfect straight. I think I swung it about 10 times. Perfect, perfect straight. So it works with any controller, I would say, guys. But really looking forward to what HP Studios are going to release this month. Hopefully it's in the coming days about what is actually happening with this fantastic game. Because I do feel it needs a freshen up. <clears throat> I think we need more game modes. As you guys know, I am trying my best to keep this the game going. Not myself. There's some other great channels out there um, who are putting the game in the public eye consistently. I try to get three, four, sometimes more videos up. And that's short. Really played that short. Um, but I would love to see, I've said it before, foursomes, alternate shots. I think that would be so much fun. And I'm sure we could have some great fun with you subscribers playing that. This looks good. Oh, my pattern is really on fire just now, guys. As they say, driving is for show, pattern is for dope. So we're flying through this round. Hole 12 already, and we are 11 under. Let's see here. Coming down to the 5 iron, I do feel, guys, because the wind is slightly in my favour. I do feel I've got enough club here. This will come in hot. This should come in hot on the green, but I'm confident it will sit down for me. It's a good strike. The wind is tracking that not as well as I would have liked, to be fair. Good shot, though. We have hit the right part of the green. I wanted to avoid the bunker as much as possible. So a 10 foot putt. Once again, not much break in this. The greens are very, very forgiving here. And it is another birdie putt. And we do get to 12 under par, guys. We are on fire at the moment. But I'm hoping to keep this Legend series going for the, for the foreseeable future, guys. There is so many golf and legends out there. And we've had some fantastic... Um, legends who we featured so far but please keep the legends recommendations coming in guys and if you could give as much information or half as much information as Mike who uh, suggested Tiger Woods that would be excellent I mean it's fantastic to get your guys insight into the legend that you're recommending but thank you so much again to Mike Barfield for all the the hard work or maybe Mike's a bit of a startle we do have a few Guys who are full of knowledge on the channel. Um, who really know their golf and stuff. I don't really play golf anymore. I was a high handicap. I didn't even have a handicap. I think my best ever round was an 86. Um, round the, my championship course here. But I do have uh, something in the making for you guys here. There is a, a fantastic um, golf course. There's three championship courses on my doorstep here. I'm very fortunate to have it. I'm not a member of any of them. I used to be, but with my... It's another missed putt. That was a poor putt. Wow, I've really put that past here. Wow. This is going to be a tricky par save. I'm just going to focus on this one, guys, and I'll get back to it. So, six-footer. Breaking to the left. Quite a tricky putt here. Oh, Lee! Lee, I didn't allow for the break enough. And I've put that four feet past again. So there is going to be a bogey here. Wowzers. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, it's going to be a double bogey, unfortunately, guys. And that is going to take me back down to 10. I'll certainly not miss this one. I've learned from the... So we were putting for a birdie there. And we ended up with a double bogey. Wow. So, yeah, but the, the, the course that gets the most publicity here is Castle Stewart. It's held the Scottish Open. Oh, about three, four occasions. Uh, it is a fantastic course. I've played it once. Um, I have actually asked a top designer to uh, design this course for me because I cannot design, guys. I've tried it. I'm lost when I go in there. I've got not an idea what to do. 
I don't have the patience and probably I don't have the time to do it. Um, if I was to design a course or attempt to design a course, it would probably mean we could go through four, five, six, seven weeks where I wouldn't probably get an upload done um, for you fantastic subscribers. So I have asked a course designer who I regard very, very highly to uh, design this course for me. And to my knowledge, he has agreed. And we've been private messaging each other through YouTube. He did say it'll take a, t a while. But I am hoping it's going to be one of the best courses out there. So let's see if I can bounce back from that double bogey. We've played this par 5 well. It is long par 5. Just left myself a pitch shot. Hopefully I can leave this close to redeem myself. And get back on a birdie train. Good execution. I think that's short guys. I've really left that a bit short. I would have liked that another 3-4 feet closer to be fair. So it's a 14 foot putt. Fortunately there's not much in this. Slight break to the left. Nope. Missed that one. And I've really put that... Wow, I've really put that way past here. Way past. Wowzers. So really struggling here. This is just for a par now. A 16 footer up one foot. Oh, and I do redeem myself one nice putt. So, didn't get the birdie I craved there. So just a par on that par five. Which you always do feel a bit gutted about. Especially on the tour clubs when you've got that extra distance. So this is a short par four. Let's see if we can redeem ourselves here. That bunker is in play. So I'm just going to aim to the right of it and let the wind take me round. And avoid it. It's another good strike. And that ball has travelled down nicely. 324 yards we've nailed that. Wow. Monster drive. So it's another pitch shot. Let's see if I can execute this one better than I did the previous one. On the par 5 where I left myself 14 feet short. And that... That just didn't seem to bite at all. I do take it I've hit a slope here. 15 foot. Is it going to turn? It's turned too much. So the, the birdie trail has went stone dead, guys, at the moment. After that double bogey. A five footer to save power. Once again, it's tough. But we do manage to get it in the center of the cup. So I do remain 10 under. It's not been the best back nine that I've had. It's such an enjoyable round. It's a fantastic course, Pebble Beach. Uh, I think I've played it once before. This is the first time playing it with pin selection number four though. But a great recommendation from Mike. I'm interested to see who you guys are going to recommend for the next legend. And that is just held the fairway. I've used every inch of the fairway here. 86 yards. I'm going to persevere with my pitch shots here, guys. I do need to get in the, the practice. I'm determined to nail one this round. Execute it well again. This should roll up a fair bit. Should start to turn slightly. No. It's actually turning away from the hole. We had the yardage bang on. But I was so far left of the hole there. So it's another tricky putt for birdie. 14 footer. It's another. It's another birdie opportunity that just. Does not drop for me. So it's just another par, guys. So let's look at this back nine, actually. 
I'm only one under for the back nine, which is disappointing, considering the front nine we had. So hole 17, beautiful looking hole this one. This is a famous hole here, guys. So let's see if we can get this close. I'd love to finish with two birdies. Great strike with a hybrid. Oh, just didn't sit down as quick as I would have liked, but it's probably going to be about a 10 foot putt for birdie. 11 foot, 13 feet, sorry. Once again, quite a fair swing to the left. It's looking good. Boom. And we do get that birdie at long last, and there's Tiger celebrating about it after the, the drought we've been on. So we do manage to get to 11 under. Hole 18. Short par 5. Hopefully we can finish with two back-to-back -back birdies here for you guys. But really enjoying this Legend series, guys. If you've missed the previous videos, this is a, a this is episode number 5. I sounded English here. This is episode number 5. Um, I am looking to probably do about 10 episodes, minimum. It's been well received by you fantastic subscribers, so let's see if we can get this approach shot close and have an eagle opportunity. I do apologise guys, I'm still sniffling away here with the cold. Left that a bit short. Why really short? It's going to be a chip shot for eagle though. But if we can't get in, we should leap close for the birdie. Oh, it lips out. The eagle lips out. So it's just going to be a birdie, guys, to end the round. And it's been a solid round. But that is Tiger Woods, guys. Legend that he is. I really hope you enjoyed this one. 12 under we finished it where. Um, like I say, guys, please keep the legend's recommendations coming in. Um, can't wait to get the next one out there for you. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button if you like that. Let's get this to 20 likes for the, my uh, tutorial on how I swing. That is it for today, guys. I'll see you on the next one. Take care and peace out. Bye.